Good morning from just above McCullough Gulch here outside of Breckenridge in Colorado. Today, I'm gonna to be hiking the east ridge of Pacific Peak for a full trail guide of this hike. You can check the link in the description below. To catch you up to speed, obviously later in the day, but so you're gonna start here, basically work up to this, and then after that, work up to this. Start the hike here, you basically came from right there. There's this campsite and uh, a little social trail here. You can take that in and then start bushwhacking and basically you're going to go up. Example of the quote trail right here. So a lot of bushwhacking, have a GPS, know how to use it. Beautiful look at Quandry in the Alpenglow. You'll have views of that all day today. And before anybody asks without reading all of the hard work I put into the full hike descriptions, you don't need a reservation to do this hike as of August September 2021. That might change in the future. Check the full description for that to be updated. Uh, so where we are right now, you can actually see McCullough Gulch Trailhead back there. That's not where this hike starts. There's a Y in the road. You go there, continue driving a bit, and then basically start bushwhacking up the slopes here. A squad of goats up there. Wondering who the hell am I in their house? It's the most I've ever seen together before. It's crazy. Once you get through those initial aspen groves, it does open up a bit and basically you're going to start bearing west or left. I hate willows. Here's your view once you get up a bit higher. Maybe I could have headed that way, then up, then over. I'm kind of looking at this slope in front of me here and just saying I'm going to go for it. So go like there. Got the little ones down there. So not much sure what to think of humans. I don't blame you little guys. Keep your distance. It must be the mom. Looking back, goats. You can't see them in this shitty camera, but Started right about there, came up, over, up. Looking ahead here, basically, I'm gonna go like that and then start the ridge to the left. As you get a bit higher here, you get your first glimpses of Fletcher Mountain, uh, Atlanta Peak, Atlantic Peak as well, and your next objective, which is this hill right in front of you. So finally on the ridge here, you got some awesome views of all the high alpine lakes uh, up here in the 10 mile range. Uh, these basins are sneaky, super beautiful, even though they're so crowded. So let's talk about the ridge for a second as I show you it a bit more. Uh, it starts off with pretty easy class two, um, minor rock scrambling, and then as you get further along, it picks up in difficulty, eventually getting to uh, lower class three. You can make it harder if you want to, just like any ridge and uh, find the hardest route, but uh, this is basically all you got left to the summit. Uh, still have about another thousand feet of gain and a mile or so of hiking, so give yourself plenty of time. Popped on the helmet. I always recommend helmets for anything uh, class three scrambling ridge lines. Not necessarily always for rock fall, but just in case you fall and bash your skull. This guy's good. While we're talking about helmets and gear, uh, you can check all virtual Sherpa uh, gear out. 
linked in the bio of the video here. You can also check out everything I'm using on the hike today. This one's pretty straightforward. I'll link my 14er packing list. Uh, that's pretty much what you're gonna want. I have trail runners on. You could certainly do hiking boots. I definitely recommend one of those. I have hiking poles I was using as well. Highly recommend those anytime you don't have a trail going up steep stuff. It's just a lot easier to have uh, four points of contact in the ground versus two. sun blowing out my shot but looking back on the last section here it looks a lot worse than it is i went ridge direct if you ever feel uncomfortable on this you can kind of stay to the side looking ahead here so obviously where you're going and then once you're down there through to pacific As you've probably noticed by the footage, I've been pretty much sticking directly to ridge as much as I can. The rock quality, I'm gonna stop moving. The rock quality has been okay. Definitely test everything though. I found some loose stuff. Judging by the look of the rock here, this is the crux of the route. There's a little knife edge here, some good class three here, and then you continue up the uh, tower there. My horn can pierce the sky. If you get that reference, you're a real one. Got a bit of exposure. Looking ahead here, definitely is picked up in difficulty. Here's a look at the mini knife edge. Starts here, continues on, continues on, and then over. Fetch time. Very mini one, not even like a Kelso really.
back at the section there. I know firsthand doesn't always help put it into perspective, but pretty obvious. And yeah, you can see the exposure more on my left side, hiker's right, and that's the way you can kind of traverse stuff to the hiker's left. Back up on the ridge, and it's starting to uh, flatten out a bit, and definitely class two. In general, I have not found any cliff outs so far, and I've been pretty much on the ridge the entire time, which is nice. Shit, I really thought I was done. I roll up on this tower. Still have all this way to go. This is another awesome traverse, uh, Father Dyer Crystal Traverse, which is really fun. Oh, your first cliff out of the day. I'm sure you could down climb that. Again, I'm solo by myself, I don't need to. So I'm just gonna go back here and then down and around. A look back at the section I skipped. Definitely goes four or above, just not worth the risk. So I had to down climb to the white rock there and circle back up. Approaching the end of the ridge here. Pretty much low class two at this point. Just loose rock, probably class one, honestly. From here, you kind of have two options. Doesn't really matter. With that route, this is the standard way, way I'm gonna take. You could go southeast slopes up to Pacific. It really doesn't matter. Here's a good look at your descent route if you don't wanna go back the ridge. So you'd go down southeast slopes, to the saddle of Atlantic Pacific, and then there, and then basically take this all the way out. This section like right here looks like it's gonna be really terrible, and I'm not looking forward to it at all. As you get over to Pacific Peak, angle as straight as you can, and then go left. This mountain always looks so badass. It's just really rugged. It looks like it's almost like a Matterhorn kind of vibe in the Swiss Alps. I've had some time to kind of think about that ridge and I'd say it's really eerily similar to what you get on uh, perhaps Quandry West Ridge, the Father Dyer Crystal one I was telling you about. It's like all these mountains were carved exactly the same. It's a great one, don't get me wrong. The rock is definitely not as good as people make it out to be. There is a lot of loose stuff. I was finding some really big loose stuff too. So as always, just test everything. An excellent look at Pacific Tarn there. Highest lake in North America. Summit of Pacific Peak here, just about uh, 3.5 miles to the summit from the East Ridge over there. From the car to here, about 3,200 feet of elevation gain and uh, definitely slow going. It took me a while, about, uh, about four hours to get to the summit, which at three and a half miles is slow, but it's nature of ridge traverses. Absolutely beautiful up here. My second time up uh, Pacific Peak, the last time was in the winter up uh, this couloir behind me that I'm not going to show you because I don't want to get too close to it. Um, but yeah, the lake's up here. I'm the only one on the summit for now. And uh, yeah, the views are good. Smoke isn't too bad and the weather looks good to the west. You really can't really ask for much more. So from here, I'm going to be descending the southeast slopes like I mentioned. Again, do keep in mind you're going to have to do some walking back to your car. Um, it's just inevitable to avoid, to avoid. You can take the ridge back, but it's, you know, a lot of time for me, I just don't have any desire to do that. So I'm just gonna take the easier easier way down. Atlanta Peak there, this little bump here. You don't need to hike that, go around it right there. With Atlantic Peak right in front of you, you got this hump here. There's gonna be kind of a natural social trail that you're gonna take. To be honest with you, I don't know how far 
or how good the trail is down this uh, route. So we'll see. I know there's gonna be one section in particular that's gonna be really nasty that I showed you earlier. This is looking down to the crappy section. I say crappy because it's really steep. It's really loose. So I'm gonna try to stay to as solid as rock as possible, but I might end up going left over there because the angle just looks a little bit better. Yeah, I'm opting, opting for the left side here. That's looking back up. It doesn't do it any justice, but it is damn steep. And the problem is like everything, this is a pretty big rock, everything is loose. So I, I have tough to get down this section here, this section right here, and then I'll be okay. There is absolutely no planet where I'd recommend ascending this route. And it's probably best to hit this when there's still snow on it because it would be way more See. Absolutely nasty. This is not fun. Wow, that sucked. That is awful. Yeah, so I don't know what to say at this point. Maybe take another way down. <laughs> I don't know, but this section behind me here was, I mean, literally it's one wrong move away from just not a good time. Like you're gonna t go sliding really far, twist, twist an ankle. If you're in multiple people in your party, have a rock come down at you. Just a lot of bad scenarios. There's no way that is a good sustainable trail right there. With this little lake or pond, whatever you wanna call it there, quandary there. I'm going to head here. Yeah, I still haven't found a trail if there is one, but I know I have to go this way. My lack of preparation for this hike is making this descent much harder than it needs to be. Man, I really apologize. I just did not do my homework beforehand. And any information I give you about descending is going to be terrible. So I'll, uh, in the full hike description, I'll talk exactly about how to do it since I did not do it here. I've been cliffed out like four times. I found some new mo mountain goats that were like, WTF are you doing here, dude? I think I'm finally down here, but I just have no, absolutely no idea where I'm supposed to be going. Those are the cliffs I was cliffed out on. Good spot. Look at this. What is this? A trail? Oh my god. That was brutal. Back on the trail. Wait till you see my... You should go over to my website just to see my GPX file. I'm gonna put a real one and I'll put mine too. Just so you can laugh at how dumb mine is. And I do apologize for not being better prepared for this one because really the hike down information on the video at least was useless. But I think it's also a good lesson that you need to be prepared to be able to get yourself out of situations. If your phone dies, if you lose your map, you don't have a map, you don't know how to read a topographical map. I'm lucky that I didn't get hurt. I'm lucky that I found my way out pretty quickly. And I'm also lucky that I was in the gully, pretty much a gulch, I should say. So there's really one way to go. I'm gonna wrap up this hike here because from here on back to the car, it's just about a mile and you're gonna be following the trail. So you can't get lost at this point. Pacific Peak, East Ridge, a fun day. The descent, not so much, but it's so beautiful this time of year with the wildflowers and all the water and green that is hard to complain, even with a little uh, getting lost. A couple of closing notes on this one. I didn't mention dogs. I would not bring dogs on this hike. Um, just wouldn't. I, I don't bring dogs on class three. Just my two cents. Overall, definitely have GPS, definitely have a map um, and pictures or description or whatever because the descent is really easy to get lost. If you're new to my channel, I do virtual trail guides here in Colorado of the 13ers, 14ers. Outside of Colorado, I have so much more content. Check my website out, thevirtualsherpa.com as well. As always, thank you very much for watching this video. I appreciate it and we'll see you on the next adventure.